Hey guys and welcome back to another match day vlog. Today Notts are home to Oxford City in the second round of the FA Cup. Now it's a big game for Notts today because like I said in my Bristol Rovers vlog uh, in the first round, Notts haven't been to the third round of the FA Cup since the 2011-12 season. So yeah, and it's added pressure today because it's in front of the BT Sport cameras which means it's the early kickoff. Let's try and avoid an upset. League 2 versus National League South opposition. Let's not get embarrassed on the telly again. Come on, Knots. Get into the third round. Come on, Knots. Come on, you pies. Let's do this. Right, so the team news is that it's absolute carnage around Meadow Lane at the minute. There's, the, the parking is horrendous. So if you come to Meadow Lane, get here early. Yeah, the team news is that Steady's in despite all his injuries and everything. Um, yeah, he's up front with Alessandro. Hewitt is in the middle. Uh, apart from that, it's as you were. Yeah, normal starting 11 for Knots. It's carnage with the parking, uh, what's going on? But yeah, come on Knots, third round tie, up for grabs. One Oxford City nil. Um, it's, it's been an all right half from Knotts, you know, before before we score we weren't really, you know, taking the game as seriously as we want as I wanted us to. We weren't closing down Oxford enough. Um, they had a decent chance as well at here, just it was it came went out for a goal kick. We scored and now we started closing them down more, we've limited their chances. You know, we've started to get a real grip on the game now. And, but this game is far from done. Let's hope. We can get another goal and finish them off early on in the second half. It's a big, 
big third round cup tie up for grabs today, hopefully. So let's finish them off. Come on, Knox. It's alright. It's alright. Simon, your half time thoughts. It's, it's a weird one. You see, you see. I'm not having it. We're not having it. We're not having it. I'm not speaking with him. I just blow some cunts. But I'm not associating myself with jailbirds. Right, right, go on. Yes. We can go, delete, we can edit it out. Yeah, edit him out. Edit him out. Like you normally do. He's okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know whether it's because we're on telly or whether it's because half past twelve or whatever it is, but this ain't us. It really, really it really, really is not us today. Players who normally are really dependable, seven, eight out of tens, just aren't playing that. They're playing fours and fives. And really it's not weird. like Oxford are doing it either, because yeah, Oxford have put us under a load of pressure. They're not coming at us. It's not a non-league team that's gone from home. All I can think is Nolan's in there now, giving them a right old parking. And second half, we're going to see what we're made of them. We always play better second half, don't we? Tootle let him run. Tootle let him run. Penalty to Notch just shortly after Oxen has scored. Been too casual again. But we've got to capitalise here. Stead on the spot for 2-1. Gone, it's not it's not two watch of City One. We've gone back into casual mode then, but we've just had a really good chance with Alessandro. Before that, before he came back in, two all really, really should have shot instead of laying it off for Alessandro. But we need to get it done. That Oxford had a really good chance to level at two all. It's another one of these games where we've where it's against lower league opposition and we've just, you know, come into it thinking we've already won the game. We're starting to have more chances now, it's still 2-1. Johnny Fort's come on to provide some pace up top, replacing Lewis Alexandra. Yeah, yeah, but sometimes in this game we've looked more open than a can of tuna at the back. Some of the, some of the defending that we've done has been awful, but <coughs> starting to create more chances and hopefully the third might come. What is seriously so difficult about closing a player now? Come on, Eddie! Someone get in there! Three minutes plus a bit of stop, he's starting to go. Not to be nowhere near good enough today. Absolutely not, even if. Just not good. Orchid, Orchid, again, he's on the ball now, he's had a shocker. Just not been good enough, why not? It's too many in, in too many casual players out there today. Shocking. It's got to be a good one. Shit. Oh.
Bloomberg, but we're 42 winners. <laughs> We're trying fancy flicks, we're trying Hollywood passes, we've played badly. Let's hope Nolan gives them an absolute rollicking for next week. Tells them what they've got to do, reminds them of the commitments, and then this is out the system. We're in the next round, that's Play all that really matters. Next week, they'll hit us for six or seven. Full time, a 3 2 victory. I really just. What, what a poor performance by Knox. Too many players sit. Um, Come into the game thinking, you know, we've already won it. Oxford gave us a really good game, probably better than most league sides we've played this season. And then we nick it in the 93rd minute. Very, oh, Oxford gave, credit to Oxford, they gave us a really good game. Not good enough by knots. Very, very poor indeed. So we're back from middle lane, a very unconvincing, we will say. We're through to the third round, that's the good point. But we played awful, right? Conceding two goals at home to a team in the National League South. But we should be we should be beating them. You know, I, I know anything can happen in the FA Cup, but seriously, there was too many people out there, too many players out there today who were, you know, already think we've won the game, and it's not like that in the FA Cup. Shocks can happen, and it nearly happened today, and we got lucky. 90th minute, once again, how many 90th minute goals have we scored this season? Yeah, I don't think Knott's played particularly well. Sorry about the shaking, shaking of the camera. Uh, yeah, I don't think we played particularly well. Um, to, like I said, too many, too many players thinking we've already won the game before it's even started. Oxford were decent. Oxford City were a decent team, better than some of the teams we've played this season in League Two. But yeah, there was too many. Poor, like, Dickinson had a very poor game. Hawkins didn't have a good game. Alessandro tried to get involved, but was substituted um, before he could do much more in the second half. Um, Stead worked and worked and worked. Sometimes he didn't drop for him, sometimes he was getting his shirt torn off by the Oxford City defender. But that's normal, that happens every week. Yeah, it's just... I, I can be happy because we're through to the third round for the first time in six seasons. But the performance was bad. We can't perform like that next week against Luton. Otherwise they will hit us for six and sevens. Anyways, Let's hope for a good third round tie, a Premier League team away, you're at home, not bothered. Just as long as we get a Premier League team or a Championship team. We're through, just. If you enjoyed the vlog, give it a like. Comment down below your thoughts on the game. Stay subscribed if you already subscribed. Subscribe if you're new. Be safe, be champions. And as always, to loose. <laughs>